How do you do, guys? It's your boy, XTR. You already know how it is. I'm coming at you with 16 subscribers coming in from Miami, Florida. And I just wanted to quickly explain some core mechanics in this game that a lot of you may not be aware of. Uh, if you didn't play any shooters previous to this, then you definitely are not aware of this. And if you haven't played any competitive shooters, then once again, you may not be aware of this thing plaguing your game constantly. So there is this thing called Peaking. And it is where you basically round a corner or a barrier and you expose yourself to the elements, the harsh elements. Now, once you are exposed to these harsh elements, knowing you forgot your winter jacket, what do you do in this situation? You're either going to get the kill or you are going to die a sad, pathetic, miserable death leaving your teammates stuck out on a limb and everyone in your life behind as you dangle from a tree branch dead, no dreams fulfilled no kill secured. So I'm going to teach you how to come out on top, how to get the kill, how to pay the bill, and how to look like a gamer. We're in game right now, and I'm going to show you what peeking an angle exactly looks like. So I'm going to peek this angle, and this literally just me exposing myself for one second. Now, what I see players doing, which makes me mad, uh, to say the least, it really it really rattles my cage so i'll see players just run out like this like an ai fucking bot and it really makes me mad it does they're not looking around they're not aiming at the right spots basically all they're doing is if they see someone they shoot i see i shoot that's their fucking mentality now that is if you have that mentality i'm not gonna hate on you because like i said in a couple videos ago it's it's a new game right i mean everyone's got to start learning somewhere and that's where i'm coming in trying to educate some of the players that may not actually have prior fps experience when there's angles like this there's always going to be danger you have to internalize the fact that at certain angles there can be danger this is a high danger area people love to peek this and this right here is a extremely high danger people will almost 90 percent of the times if you push a they will almost always be at this angle now there are many ways you can deal with this you can have your teammate watch that side while you flashbang and peek out and uh, don't flashbang yourself. I'm sorry, it's 6 a.m. I haven't slept. Flashbang, you peek out. But generally, if they see that flashbang coming, they're just going to unpeak. But it does give you the advantage to the point where you can actually get out here. And say a, it's smoked here, so you can actually gain the control here. Uh, you don't want to peek it dry with nothing, because it comes down to an aim fight at that. And if they know what they're doing, they are probably just going to kill you. Unless you just get lucky and somehow happen to out-aim them. There are many ways to go around this. Uh, with this angle here, you can easily, as Phoenix, you can curve a wall. And you can walk right by. Just know people can push through anything you throw down. People will try and make a game or play because, you know, their brains are so huge and they think they can just get all the kills in the world. So look out for people doing stupid shit when you use your utility. Utility is huge in this game. It is absolutely crucial. Characters can smoke these angles like jet, like fucking brimstone. You can throw a smoke down. You can flash. You can do anything to get through this choke point. And getting through a choke is one of the most important parts in a round. If you get through this choke here, you've just gained map control. You've gained map control. You have free reign now. They can't watch this anymore because your team is all over here. They're swarming like cockroaches. So the next move would be to somehow get up here. Right? Most logically. So basically, the, the overriding fact of the matter is you don't want to peek something dry because you will... Nine times out of ten, if they are a competent player and their brain isn't the size of a pea, you will probably die. So make sure you're using utility and make sure you're thinking about the peaks you take. So something like this, this is a main corridor. You need utility for this. Almost nine times out of ten, you will need utility. Something up here, say you're clearing this angle, you don't need utility because it's just, it's just a standard peak. It's just a corridor. You don't need utility, but having it is good if you hear someone here use it and then peek out if you hear someone and you have utility like a flashbang use that shit use that shit and peek utility is your best friend in this game this game yes does come down to a lot of aim but utility can exponentially help you gain advantage in so many situations you wouldn't believe how much utility actually does in a game like this it's insane so that brings me to my next point peeker's advantage with peeker's advantage there is one thing if you are out of wall i should have brought this up earlier but if you are at a wall do not peek it as close as you can to the wall do not ever do this you are at such a huge disadvantage they will see you so much faster before you see them at this point right here pretty much your whole body is exposed to them and you can't even see them yet 
So you, you at this point are probably dead. And when you peek out here, it's pretty much game over. Unless they miss their shot and you somehow get lucky, you get the kill. Now something like this, right here, you are exposed. You are exposed right about here. And you can already start to see. So you want to take an angle where you are pressed up as far as you can away from the angle you are looking at. You want to be as far away as possible from your opponent when you are engaging long range in a duel. You do not want to be pressed up on a barrier. Pressing up on a barrier limits your, your field of view, limits your sight lines, and basically gets you killed because they can see you so much sooner. If they aren't an 80 year old in a wheelchair, even then, if they were an 80 year old in a wheelchair, I would expect them to get this kill. This is such an easy kill. It's free. It's completely fucking free. So make sure when you engage, you're engaging like this. You're far back, you use your utility, you get in there. Going up. Now pre-firing is another way you can actually deal with angles like this, but it's not nearly as good. And say I have an op and I am sitting up here, right? If there's somebody peeking this angle, they're nine times out of ten going to die to me. I mean, unless they use utility and flash me out, I have to fall back. But most of the times they will die to me. Say I'm the attacking player, right? And I know there's an opera there at that specific angle. And my crosshair is lined up perfectly. What you can do to actually get that shot out so you can actually move forward is you can, you can literally just shoulder it like that. Don't do it too many times. Otherwise, he'll predict it and kill you. But just one small shoulder and then wait a little bit another shoulder it should bait out a shot and you can just move up on him you can get to a different angle you can shoulder him again if it's an opera and you can keep pushing up you can keep pressuring this guy and then you can move in and kill him now be aware when you are shouldering if they are a very good player uh they will not shoot you on the first shoulder almost ever so shouldering is basically let me explain shouldering first because it, it's kind of hard to replicate if you don't actually know what the fuck it is. So shouldering is, since I'm on this wall and I'm peeking to the right, I am pressing my D key right here. And then right here, I am stopping. I'm not trying to go for a shot on them, because that would be pre-firing. This is shouldering. This is where you're just shouldering at a shot. So you're, you're coming here, you're stopping, right? And then you're going back in. That's all you're doing. But you're doing it really fast. You're doing it super fast. All you're doing is pressing your AD keys. It's that simple. You're stopping yourself when you get to a certain point and you're going back in. Don't overextend. Don't peek out this far. This is this is much too far. Something something small like this is just enough. Now, if I'm if I'm opping this angle and I see someone's shoulder, uh, I can try and go for the shot, which isn't always the best. I like to personally when someone is shouldering, I just wait because half of the times when someone shoulders an angle and they see an opper and the opper doesn't actually take the shot, sometimes they'll just swing on me and they'll fucking die. So don't do that. Don't swing and die. If you don't bait the shot out, just wait. Wait until you have a chance to get utility. And if there's absolutely nothing you can do and you have to win the round, there's like 10 seconds on the clock or something you have to get into sight. The best thing you can do other than use utility is literally just jiggle jiggle peek him and just try and move. Or jiggle peek him and pre-fire him. That's some of the only things you can actually do. So pre-firing is another thing, another way at peeking an angle where if this takes a lot of game sense because you actually got to know where the angles are before because if you uh, go like this and then you're spotted, you don't want to do it again because a lot of the times he can just kill you. But if you know where the angle is and you have the lineup for it, say the angle is right here, he's holding this, you can swing out and you can pre-fire him. And that'll scare the fuck out of him for one. If he gets hit, even killed, that's a huge advantage. If he gets hit, he's going to fall back off of that, and he's probably going to fall back to here, to a different angle. He's going to play a more passive angle. If he doesn't, and he decides to stay scoped, then really the only thing you can do, other than use utility and try and bait out his shots more, is just go for the fucking peak, just wide swing his ass, because there's not much you can do if it's a situation where it's 30 seconds on the clock and you have to make a move. You've tried jiggling, you've tried, uh, you tried shouldering him out, Nothing's working. You don't have utility. You go once or twice, swing on him. That's all you have to do. Uh, it's not always going to work, but in a tough situation where there's not much you can do, that may be the only option. So now I'm going to go over how to aggressively clear things out. So in this game, as I was stating earlier, the closer you are to an object, the more of a disadvantage you're at. So say there's a person here, and I'm trying to actually get the uh, rotate into B site because the bomb is down. Or, sorry, the fucking, the spike is down. My bad. Okay, so say I'm trying to get back into B-Sight, 
and the spike is planted and there is somebody right here and I don't know this but I'm trying to be cautious so how would I go about this would I walk up here and then swing like this that is an option but if he is right on this wall that's pretty much instant death so the route you would actually take for an angle like this is you would walk around and you would peek him full speed and he would be at such a disadvantage not only would you have peekers advantage on your side but if he's holding a close-up angle so if you swing out on this wall he has to follow you with his crosshair to actually get the kill well you are literally just moving along this wall and pre-aiming and most likely just ending up with a free kill from that the further you are from an angle the higher chance you come out on top in the gunfight so aside from that a lot of this is it's pretty nuanced stuff but it's also very important stuff that you should implement into your gameplay and the thing is with this information i'm telling you it's going to be hard to actually put into practice at first because it's not going to be natural it's not going to be natural for you to play differently than the way you're already playing if you are already playing in a very suicidal manner the thing with this is you have to learn how to do it and then slowly implement it into your play and just try and be conscious of what you're doing and eventually with time you will start learning how to do this stuff properly but at first it's going to feel completely foreign and you're gonna you're gonna fuck it up a couple times and you're gonna overthink it that's just how it is there's really not much thought that goes into it a lot of it just comes with game sense and you will get more game sense as you go on and implementing stuff like jiggle peeking shoulder peeking using your utility all of that will all around make you a better well-rounded player and it will help you improve in the long run you will slowly be getting better you, you might not even realize it but you will be getting better if you integrate these into your gameplay uh right away though obviously it's gonna be hard it's gonna be difficult to actually implement this shit but given the right amount of time it'll start becoming like second nature to you you'll be able to actually start doing this properly and you'll begin to start to know where to actually move these tactics in these movements